Oh, hey, everyone. Welcome. We're a little bit late, but that's okay. We're going to start episode 15 here in a second. Everyone leveled up last episode, so we'll go over that pretty quick here. But first, let me recap what happened last time. Our adventurers are trying to reach older Raven Guard of Baldur's Gate and hopefully find out what he's been up to down here. Maybe save El Terrell, bring it back to the Material Plane. Right now, there's giant, massive infernal chains pulling it down to the ground of Avernus. That's a problem. And uh, we've been spending the last few episodes in El Terrell fighting devils and uh, mostly devils, uh, undead fiends. And now we think we've mostly cleared out the cathedral. And uh, they've been told that older Raven Guard has headed out to the cemetery. And uh, that's where we left off. Don't but forget we killed Rhea. Oh, no, hold on. You didn't kill her. She. <laughs> we talked too long. I could have saved her. That's yeah, true. I could have too. We definitely <laughs> killed her. I guess, well, it's like... We, we forgot. Die. We let her die. What's the legal term when you... Um, it's like manslaughter, <laughs> vol voluntary manslaughter. Involuntary. Well, yeah. this was a little voluntary. <laughs> yes, slightly, I did, we didn't do it on purpose. True. That's why I say slightly. Yeah. Um, Great. I think it's that's like gross negligence, right? Gross yeah, negligence. There you go. That's, that's more what it falls as. Although gross you, negligence. Your, your defense attorney could argue that um, she's an adult and uh, you if are only not we had guardians. Court. If only we had a cleric that could revive her. Right. Revolve. Speaking of which, let's go over around the table and talk about what you got in level six. I don't think we did this last time, but we did it on a previous level, and I want to keep doing it because it's fun for me. So let's start with you, Dave. What did Jerry get at level six, the barbarian? Um, Jerry got uh, – I had to choose an aspect of the beast, and I, ch I just stuck with the bear. <clears throat> which uh according to D, D beyond uh gives me your carrying capacity including maximum load and maximum lift is doubled and you have advantage on strength checks made to push pull lift or break objects which i'm definitely going to use and Just run uh, through shit Good i don't choice. <laughs> i don't know if if this happened at level six but i just noticed this on my racial traits I'm a half orc, and it says when I when you score a critical hit, roll one of the dice an additional time and add it to the extra damage. Yeah, that happened on level one, but uh, yeah, you... I just noticed that I haven't had any critical hits. So. Half orcs are fun; they're also fun for relentless, en relentless endurance. Uh, awesome, Rollercoast. What did you get? Uh, I decided to multi-class into cleric. Nice. And I went to the War Domain, which gave me a couple spells, and it uh, lets me, per channel divinity slot I have, to weapon attack on a bonus action if I take the attack action. So now in the first round of combat, once a day, I can get four attacks off. Yeah. So looking forward to that. <laughs> I mean, if I were in the party with my character, I would just be like use it now so, and i'll just go do something else because you're just gonna yeah. kill the take care of the encounter so if i cast haste going into a fight does that mean you get five attacks yes yes <laughs> um so you got the cleric stuff what spells did you take? um i picked up healing word because we had no ranged heals as far as i know and then I got Shield of Faith, which concentration lets me increase somebody's AC by two. And then Protection from Good and Evil, which uh, creature, uh, until the spell ends, one willing creature you touch is protected against certain types of creatures, aberrations, celestials, elementals, phase, fiends, and undead. The protection grants several benefits. Creatures of those types have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. The target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. If the target is already charmed, frightened, or possessed by such a creature, the target has advantage on saving throws against the relevant effect. Yep. And we'll find out 
which you are in a cathedral of Torm. We'll find out which god you go with. Yes. And maybe it will surprise us. Maybe it won't. Uh, but we'll find out. Brian, what did you take for Kairos? Brian died because he's in hell and he's just a person, so he didn't have a good chance. But Kairos leveled up, and uh, Horus blessed him a little bit more. So uh, if anybody near me, as well as myself, needs to throw a saving throw, we get a plus three to it. So that's neat. Ten foot range? Ten foot range. It's always on? It's always on. Ooh. Yeah. Super. Paladin auras. Auras are fucking awesome. Uh, they're also fucking awesome for running monsters. Uh, that That's are the, true. The bad auras. Concentrate near you. Got it. That's a good idea, Jake. I haven't really used that in our game. I use that. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I have no well. Uh, we'll figure something out. Um, Gary, what did Jarvis take? Jarvis has this shiny new stone in his pocket. That... It's a hexagon? Yes, Whoa. is, is uh, storing some magic inside of it, which is currently giving me a resistance to fire damage. Nice. And can be used uh, anytime I cast a transmutation spell, I can switch it to dark vision, uh, constitution saving throws, and speed increases. Nice. Do you know what spells you're going to take? Um. Well, I'm going to, when I can take spells, I'm going to be taking, uh, I did, I have it written down. No big deal. We'll find out when you cast them. Yep. Okie dokie. Since I technically don't have them yet, so. Fair enough. Uh, you guys wake up the next morning from your long rest in the catacombs. Uh, many of the leftover people we're hiding down here are asleep many are not as you may expect it's a pretty stressful environment being in hell and having horrifying creatures appear every once in a while and having the only protection before you guys came be a priest of torm with a decorative mace uh basically a fabergé mace um not very reassuring but you wake up and uh what would you like to do we're going to that uh graveyard yeah oh brian you were muted i think or i don't know if you were talking i was talking very quietly as i pulled up my notes what was her name i have it faria faria i knew i had it just had to get it uh, fair. You said Raven Guard's in the cemetery, right? Uh, where's the cemetery? Uh, well, you can... I think that passage they were going down is blocked now. Uh, or it was. I don't know if they opened it, but uh, you can go up to the cemetery if you go up to the main hall, and there's a... Uh, you can either go around if there's if there's anything left of the path that goes around, or there was a from all the earthquakes there was a broken wall crack heading to the cemetery. Uh, yeah, Older said he was looking for some helm of Torm, uh, which I've heard of, but like uh, I'm sure is evident. I'm I'm kind of new. I'm a new priest, and I haven't been let in on all the secrets around here. So I hope it's a real thing, because it sounds powerful, and there's fiends everywhere. Yeah, okay. You should be relatively safe down here now, for the time being, at least. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of reassuring. I appreciate all your work. I mean, who knows? Being in hell, there's just no end to the amount of horrifying things that can come down here so i mean as i mean as soon as we leave they're like basically defenseless though right yeah that's what i'm kind of worrying about but i mean the more you yeah. do if you find older and get him back here with everyone all the guards he took it the quicker you do that the better all right so shall we, we should go we should go do that 
Yeah, we should go do that, everybody. Yeah, we should. Yeah, we we should go do that. You should go uh, do that. You'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine down here. Just uh, you might want to send someone to see if that tunnel's blocked, and if not, block it. Uh, seems like the crabs come that way. Yeah, it's a bad. <clears> that'll crab totally help. You'll be fine. Totally fine. The freaking giant crabs <clears> coming <throat> in here. Pardon me, Torm. Uh, all right. Well, uh, you guys head out and up to the main, where you last short rested, to the main hall of the cathedral, and in the northwest section of the hall, there's a crack, and uh, sure enough, you can squeeze by it. The first thing you see uh, is a 10-foot-high brass fence that once surrounded El Terrell's cemetery. It's fallen in numerous places, and ahead of you, there's a wide gate allowing access to the grounds that's been torn from its hinges and uh, on the spikes of the of the fence and the and the uh, gate there are something good it's something good it's something good there are um, <laughs> jelly covered <laughs> severed arms and <laughs> It's a real mixed bag. <laughs> it really is. It's <laughs> it's something you want to lick, maybe, but just stop there. You don't want to. Uh, se- so <laughs> jelly covered, severed arms and body parts uh, stuck on the fence, and they're still moving. So another reason why you wouldn't want to fully uh, partake, uh, unless you're into cannibalism. For some of you, it'd be cannibalism, but others it wouldn't be. It kind of would be. I'm not going to get into the specifics of <laughs> cannibalism in, <laughs> in D&D. Uh, so they're writhing and, and uh, reaching out as if undead, it says here. Uh, twitching. Jerry, Jerry goes up to one that it looks like it's like giving like a high five. And he just gives it a high five. It's And that's I kind of do this sometimes just to throw people off when they throw a high five out i try to to grab because um, it's it's unexpected and it's funny to me so yeah this this is that's what this one's trying to do you're going like and it's trying to grab your palm uh i'm not gonna make you roll for it because you're jerry fucking ukorsh okerth which one <laughs> is your last name okerth is the okay. last name okay i need to write that down for my salespeople who are gonna call uh, <laughs> they were right. No, uh, of course they probably wouldn't get it right either. So really no. to do, <laughs> do it different every time. You still see the lightning flashes from the companion every so often above you. Uh, the gravestones are cracked and crumbling. Monuments are scattered across the, the grounds of the cemetery. Uh, in the center, there's a chapel, a uh, large chapel dedicated to Lathander, Torm, Helm, and Tyr. And it's glowing a fetid purple, with a fetid purple radiance. Um, and you do see some... Let me turn that off. You do see some shambling skeletons not paying much attention to them, just wandering aimlessly, some zombies, but... Uh, they're pretty far away. Uh, yeah. Well, I think we should head towards the uh, most inviting looking thing here. It's a pretty nice cemetery if you look around. Uh, purple thing, guys? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, you... Should we clean up the, the zombies around here? It seems weird to just kind of let them roam. How, how many roughly skeletons it. are there? Uh, if you spend a moment to l- look and estimate, it will be tens, dozens of skeletons and zombies. <clears throat> like I said, they're not really like paying attention and they aren't coming towards you or anything. Um, yeah. I mean, it would take forever. I, I don't have that here. many arrows. I mean, I, I might. I have lots but... of firebolts, but... No, we should let's just go to the building and we, yeah. we can take care of that later, I guess. <clears throat> we are in hell after all. There's only, you know, a few. Yeah. 
And uh, yeah, heading heading into the cemetery. You sure this must have been a damn fine cemetery before it turned into this shit show. Uh, it's still pretty nice, as Kairos pointed out. You know, if you remove the undead and uh, throw some shellac on the gravestones, everything will be a little bit better. Uh, heading to the chapel. Um, from around the chapel uh, are walking. I assume you're not. You didn't tell me stealthing or anything, right? No. Nah. Okay. Carlos wouldn't think of it, so I didn't say it. Walking. Fair enough. Walking around the chapel are seven foot tall um, skeletons, not of humanoids, but minotaur skeletons. And as soon as they see you. They roll initiative, and you roll initiative, because there's going to be some combat. Woo! Oh, I should get my dice. Kill the skeletons. That's my best, uh, what's his name, Michael Buffer, let's get ready to rumble impression. There's going to be combat. It's the best <laughs> I can do. Man, when Kairos dies, I'm going to be the sneakiest character ever. <laughs> Self everywhere. <laughs> Well, I guess it would be the thief or the scout would the rogue scout or thief would be the probably the stealthiest. Really, I'd just be going for a non-negative modifier without disadvantage. I'd be happy with just about anything. Fair enough. Um, twenty-five to twenty. Natural twenty. Nice. Is that plus plus two? Okay, so Mm twenty-two. Uh, awesome. I was like, is that is that your total uh jarvis 20 to 15 15 to 10 14 14 10 where are you at kairos cx cx all right yes that's a good old pally roll for you Mm mm-hmm I don't know how Rolikos's rolls or initiative rolls are going to turn out. As he's dipping cleric. It's cleric. I mean, I've usually... already got a plus four because of my dread ambusher. So, but there there will be I... some some balancing because clerics roll terribly in initiative usually. Yeah, right? yeah I just rolled a six. Well, you just got so... yeah, he just got a ten. So that's pretty bad <laughs> for a Rolikos usually. Yeah, yeah, it's already starting. Whatever god you chose, he's making himself known. <laughs> Do we notice anything about Rolikos coming out of the long rest? Like, is he uh, um, crossing himself? I I probably would have asked um, Rhea <laughs> to pray with me before I went to bed, which would have been new. Well, she was, but she's she was not Rhea. Oh. Not Rhea, sorry. That's some uh, dark shit. Uh, Faria. Freya. Freya. That Freya. is some dark shit, <laughs> Rolikos. <laughs> right? <laughs> Whoa. You don't know what god I chose. <laughs> No, That's true. Orcus? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lilith? Yeah, fuck. Uh, Sorry, yeah, fair, yeah. Okay, and she, let's let's flash back to that, and she yeah. happily says, oh, sure, are you a a uh, follower of Torm and an adherent? Um, I, I'm looking to get into this whole religion thing. I really haven't been most of my life, but we're in fucking hell now and i feel like a little god would do me good yeah um perfect time torm yeah torm would yeah. love to have you yeah uh, i assumed you know he would like to help being yeah and you we time. are in his house uh yeah so definitely let me teach you this prayer this is a basic one uh in in the uh, parlance of the priests in the priest school. I'm blanking on the actual name for for her. <laughs> so I'm gonna, she's gonna say we call it priest school. Seminary. Uh, <laughs> seminary. Jesus. She still says priest school. Uh, priest school. <laughs> she, she she says in priest school we call this the white belt prayer. Uh, and, uh, it only takes about 15 seconds 
and she tells you the prayer, and it sounds suspiciously like, Torm, Torm, he's our man. If no one can do it, we're screwed. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Fantastic. And um, I like this. But guy. it's more like I'm not an adherent to Torm, so I obviously butchered it. Um, there's as much more. Yeah. Well, clerical, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah, so you got a new prayer under your belt, and you do feel a little different when you pray with her, uh, yeah. being that the shit's real, Yeah. Uh, even though you're in hell. And then after that, I would like to ask her if she has a, uh, like a symbol or something I could carry with me. Uh, let me, let me, uh... There's Check. I usually, here, right? Yeah. I mean, I to be honest with you, I lost the first like three they gave me, and I was gonna get kicked out of preschool. Uh, so I learned to keep a lot on me. Of course, I asked for <laughs> instead of just making sure you keep the one, you just, <laughs> your pockets are just full of symbols, so you can lose a couple. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it's much harder. I don't think there's a spell for that. Like Torm hasn't hasn't blessed me with uh you know, the accounting a way to find objects. Yes, yet. the accounting of objects. Uh, oh, that's anything. weird. Uh, Hort Hort taught me that a while ago. Uh, just to find something uh, that you lost. Yeah. Please, can... Kairos. This is a house of God. Don't use that word here. <laughs> <laughs> and she smirks, knowing that she just—it's probably like a common like just ribbing thing Dumb that, joke. Yeah. joke. It, it's a dad joke yeah totally for for clerics and people. yeah no kairos doesn't get it he feels uh chastised <laughs> he's like oh um, <laughs> sorry um <laughs> she kind of feels bad uh now because <laughs> you didn't get it but uh she goes yeah i i should have some some extra symbols of torm on me um hopefully you're not as forgetful as i am uh my my uh, mother used to say uh, that I'd forget my head if it wasn't attached, you know. Um, I'm afraid, like, we're going to find out if that's true if we stay down here any longer. That's just some gallows humor for you. Um, what I'm saying is I'm hoping I don't turn undead and uh, lose yep. my head. Uh, uh -huh. And then I'm going to have to find my head because uh, I'll yeah. lose it. Yeah. You got, you got that symbol? Oh yeah, uh, she pulls it out and hands it to you, and it's a very basic symbol of Torm. I believe it's a a, a anvil. Is is it a like fist? a necklace, a pendant, gauntleted fist? What, what gauntleted fist. At? That's what it is. Whew. Is it like a necklace or a pendant or what am I looking at here? It's just it's just a. A, like how big you, you can't it's uh it fills your palm uh, a little bit smaller than your palm uh there's no chain attached to it there is okay. a spot to do that if you have one on you uh i don't know no, if... but i'm gonna keep a lookout for some extra cloth or something make a necklace or something you don't i mean you don't wear a collar do you no, I'm for, sorry. That's for slaves. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just because you could attach it to your that, collar. That's for the house cats. Oh, we don't like them. I'm sorry. I just thought I'd ask. We're all learning here. It's fine. Uh, cutting back to the initiative <laughs> with some skeletal <Okay>. minotaurs. <laughs> I almost forgot. Uh, Jarvis, you're up first, sir. So entering the uh, entering the cemetery, Jarvis would have, uh, as seeing the skeletons, he would have cast his mage armor. Would he have been able to get off that off before? Yeah. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah, it makes sense that you would have been like, well, this is fucked. If we get swarmed, I need some protection. Throw the mage armor on, and pretty quickly you realize these things aren't paying much attention to you, even the ones that are facing you. Uh, they're just kind of doing the old school zombie thing of just shambling and Are they doing any of them doing the thriller dance? No, uh, unfortunately not. Um, but are any of these skeletons that are right in front of us to see our 10 undead does the with, thriller dance within five feet of each other? 
like right next to each other. Say that again. I'm sorry. I was thinking of a joke. Are any of the skeletons that are right in front of us within five feet of each other? Um, they're pretty evenly spread out, so probably ten feet of each other. Oh, okay. Um, I'm can... going to hurl a bubble of acid at one of the skeletons and not the minotaurs or the minotaurs. Oh, sorry. There's the four, the things that we just entered initiative with. Those are the minotaurs. Yes, the three. Oh. Wow. If I said four, I meant three minotaur well, cool. skeletons. To be fair, they're minotaur skeletons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Least. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, those. Um, yeah, and they're close yes. to each other, so you can hit. They're in five feet. I thought you were talking about the normal lame skeletons. Nope. Nope. Sorry. The ones that are right in front of us. It's minotaur ones. You can hit. They are within five feet of each other. Beautiful. So two of them that are within five feet of each other. Um, I hurl a bubble of acid at them. Nice. And they must seek seed on a dexterity saving throw. Okay. One gets an 18, one gets an 11, and one gets a 17. Uh, the one with 11, what was it again? 11? 17, 18. Okay, so the 11 fails. Okay. And takes 1d6 acid damage. And I rolled a 6. Nice. Is that a cantrip? Yes. Did your spell damage go up at level 5 or 6? It went up. Trips? Oh, sorry, it's 2d6. Thank you. Cool. It did. Plus 2, so 8. Do the uh, ones who didn't save take any damage? No, it's a cantrip. Nope. Right. Okay, is that your turn? Yep. Uh, says here... Um, Rhea goes next, um, but because earlier in the day, I forgot that Rhea died halfway through, <laughs> halfway through filling out these combat sheets. I was like, wait a minute, didn't she die? And I had to go back and check. Uh, but is so, our elephant with us? Oh yeah. Lulu's with you. Lulu. She's not. Yeah. I mean, okay. you Just can always, sure. you she can hasn't check. said anything today. Yeah. She's, she'll try, she'll chime in if you, okay. Wish. She's, Make her. she's a freaking golden elephant walking around in hell. I mean, she wants to keep a low profile a little bit. Sure. Sure um, she does. <laughs> Wait, right. She doesn't float and fly around because I've been picturing that this entire time. Uh, she so, does like every once in a while, elephant. but it's not like... But mostly she's walking? Fascinating. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it's, her wings are kind of undersized, do you think? If this was a non-celestial, you'd be like, no way that thing's flying. But but it's still a little weird. Uh, how do the physics work? What are physics in D&D? All those questions apply. Uh, Minotaur number two is going to go first. Marty is going <laughs> to... The character Marty, he's a funny one. Uh, we'll see if you get to meet him. Uh, he's going to go first, and he's going to go after the one spraying acid. The wizard. Of course he is. The transmuter. All right. And he's going to charge you because they're about 20 feet away. Uh, horns down. Mean, in, mean intent. All right. And you're going to Olay him. Because that was a big, fat miss. Cool. I just sidestep out of the way and let him keep running. <laughs> You sidestep and uh, stops, and he turns around, wields his great axe, and tries to swing at you. Another miss. Very scary, though. This is a seven-foot tall... It's because he's got acid in his eyes. He doesn't have eyes. It's because he's got acid in his something. On his bones and <laughs> dead flesh. Sure. I don't know. I get the vibe. He's just a jokester. Marty's just playing <laughs> pranks. He's. This is all he missed because he's doing uh, he's physical doing physical comedy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the body language of the other minotaurs are. You can see they're kind of like now's not the time type of body language, which <laughs> is very distinct and obvious to everyone. Uh, Jerry, you're next. I go at. <clears throat> I go at the. Uh the uh 
zombie attacking uh, Jarvis. The Minotaur, Marty. Okay. Yeah, Marty. It's a 19. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So that's 12 damage. And I swing them all again for 13. 25 damage. No, I said, uh, did I say 25? I just said 12. I'm adding, you said 13 and 12. No, 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 no. Uh, 12 is the damage, and then 13 for the second oh. swing of them all. Oh, okay. Yeah, that hits. Oh, okay. Not expect that. Ooh, nice. Uh, math is good. 14. Yeah, that was close in my... Yeah, could have just rolled with it. Cool. That is some good. When you swing with your maul and hit these bones on this thing, it feels so satisfying to feel the crunch translated through the metal into your hands. It's invigorating. It's addicting. <laughs> yeah, Jerry's uh, eyes roll and back him in, into his head. <laughs> <laughs> then he gets like self-conscious if anyone is looking. You see like a zombie far away going, Ew. Uh, <laughs> with their bones, with their eye sockets, just going, ooh. Yeah, they're broken eye sockets, so it's just they move in a certain way. Uh, <laughs> gross. I'm a zombie, and even I thought that was gross. Uh, all right. Anything Psycho. else? Go. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Okay. Roller coast. All right. Is there room for me to back up like 20 to 30 feet without running into more zombies yeah you can strategically do that yeah 20 20 that's far enough away so that i'm not at disadvantage at shooting this guy if i well if i move back 20 feet will he be 30 feet away from me marty marty will still be 20 feet the other two will be 30 uh okay 40 feet perfect uh, I'm going to back up 20 feet then and then shoot at the one on the left that's okay. not Marty. Lefty? Yeah, okay. lefty. And I'm just going to declare it now. All of these shots are going to be sharpshooter. Shots. Minus 5 plus 10 if you yes. get it. And then... Uh, all right, Price so is right. The first two normal attacks. So 14 to hit. And a 24 to hit. Both hit. Two. And those are the regular attacks. That's three. That's 11. Plus 10 is 21. Plus 20. That's 41 damage for those two attacks. Uh, uh, okay. For Lefty. <laughs> is he still alive? Yes, barely. Okay. As much as you can tell on a seven yeah. foot tall minotaur yeah, but, I mean skeleton. he's still standing correct so I'm gonna take my dread stalker attack with sharpshooter that's another 24 yeah damage or to hit no uh, to hit okay it'll be more damage <laughs> four plus seven is 11 plus the five to hit is 16 plus 10 from sharpshooter is 26 yeah, that'll do. Uh, since I don't want to think about how an arrow can kill this thing, <laughs> tell me how the arrow kills a seven foot tall. I'm Minotaur aiming named Mark since I'm sharpshootering. I'm specifically aiming for the spine, hoping it's holding it together, so he kind of like falls apart. What am I thinking of? Is a cartoon where like, no, I, what I'm thinking of is Mario when the skeleton uh, things crumble down. It kind of makes that noise. It's kind of a musical noise from the bones clanking together as it crumbles to the ground. Perfect. Yeah. A anything else? And then I am going to use my channel divinity to bonus action attack. Nice sharpshooter. That's a nat one. <laughs> uh, D Torm. Torm is... We're, uh, we're still new to this. We're still new to this. <laughs> you kind of feel like Torm goes, I'm sorry, what? Uh, what? And... Uh, Try again tomorrow, bro. <laughs> sorry, this is my... Uh, we're just meeting. Uh, yeah. No, this will work, uh, I'm sure. 
I don't um, really know you. Yeah, but I, I wasn't was paying like, attention. It was like 60 something damage regardless. I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a stupid amount. Lulu <laughs> is going. <laughs> it really is. It's just ridiculous. Um, okay. Lulu. Lulu, what do you want to do? I want to use my tusks. To be fair, only the first round is like that. After that, it gets significantly... There's different. usually only one round anyway, so... That's what I'm... I'm, uh... Mildly salty about. Uh... Tusking. That's what she was gonna do. Tusk. <laughs> She's gonna go up to Marty and Tusk. Nice. Nice, Lulu. Two damage. You hear the, the clang or the percussion of tusk on bone as it's gotta sound terrible. Yeah, it's kinda like teeth chattering. Oh. Not good. Alright. Hey. Number three's turn. Number three is going to Run up to Kairos. And it's going to swing its great axe with great effort and intent. 19. Barely, but yes. Okay. Ooh, D12 time. <clears throat> Woo! I love rolling D12s. Uh, okay. Twenty-four slashing damage as this thing hulks over you and swings down, connecting. Clang, clang, gets through your armor. It's rough. Yeah, that hurt. It is your turn now. You Sweet. have... Three in you have uh, Minotaur three in front of you. Just did the damage. Oh yeah, his name's Barnabas. Barnabas, uh, thank you. <clears throat> my head turned from the from the hit. I <clears throat> spit out some blood and a tooth, and I just look <laughs> at him and says, "Horse has a tooth for a tooth," and I smack him in the face with my uh, Heaven's Fall. Do it. Hopefully, at least, it'd be really embarrassing if I don't. I don't know that I did. Maybe. What is my Pretty low AC. 14. It does hit. Sweet. Um, are they fiends of undead? Or mm -hmm. just undead? Mm -hmm. Sweet. So it'll be these two. It's not a fiend of undead. You feel Heaven's Fall quivering with anticipation around all these undead fiends in this area. Perfect, perfect, sweet. Um... Okay, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you right now that I'm definitely smiting him. At oh, hell yeah. Level. Definitely smiting him. <clears throat> Some paladins wait for crits. Oh, yeah. I don't. Shouldn't do that. Shouldn't do that. So that one is 22 points of damage. Nice. And I'm going to hit him again. That definitely connects. That's a 25. AC is 12, folks. Oh, that's worse. And that's another 11 points of damage. Mm. <clears throat> for a total of 33 points of damage. Yeah. Let's see. So Come on, Kyrie. Just, uh... I wouldn't shot mine. Yeah, I forgot to Hunter's Mark him, and I totally was going to. That probably would have done it, because that would have been another 2d6 here. Uh, but I didn't, so I saved a spell slot. That'll be all I do, I believe. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Hunter's Mark. Uh, Minotaur 1 is going again. No, Minotaur 1's dead. Sorry. Mar uh, lefty. Lefty is very dead. Dead. All right. Jarvis. 
Muted. Jarvis is going to disengage and run like a baby. Mm -hmm. Action disengage? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Bonus action, anything? Um, I'm just going to get to where I'm not near the other skeletons, but I'm a good 30 feet away. Yeah, I would say, yeah, you can do that. Since you're not using your um, action, you can carefully pick your way and space yourself out. So you're 30 feet away from the other two. Uh, now it's Marty's turn. Marty's going to go after Jerry. With the great X. Does a 13 hit? No. Oh. Clank off my shield. <laughs> clank, clank, clank goes the shield. Was that a show tune? I just, I don't know what that was. It is now. Sure. Um, uh, Jerry, it's your turn. I would try to return the favor to Marty. Uh, yep, that definitely hits. Uh, beep, beep, bop, uh, 17. Damage? Yes. Okay. You get two attacks. Is that your two attacks? He's not dead. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely hits. That's a 27. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, 14 again. So the total is 31. Yes. Fuck. I just beautiful minded that. All right. Rollercoast. Um, I am going to see if I can position myself ten feet farther away somehow. To yeah, get you off can. Two shots clean, and then I know Kairos loves it when I steal his kills, so I'm going after the one that's on Kairos. Okay. Two attacks, sharpshooter. That's a nine on the first one. Nope. And a fifteen on the yes. second. Yes. I heard Kairos also likes things getting pinned to him. So, so that's 22 damage. If you guys keep testing fate with that, it's not going to work out one of these days. <laughs> I'm not yeah, pinning him. I get to roll a new, new character. There's I'm only not winning. Him. It'd be tough. For Still alive. Pin a skeleton. God bless it. All right, and I'm going to be kind and give uh, throw my paladin buddy here a bonus action healing word. Nice. You gain four health, sir. I'll take it. Oh, I forgot about that big hit. Yeah, it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of my turn. Lulu is going to tusk Marty for a middling amount of damage uh good job lulu thanks barnabas turn going after kairos with the great axe it's an 18 to hit ac is 18 oh oh <laughs> 21 slashing damage with the massive great axe And that's Barney's turn. Kairos. <clears throat> I'll just hit him back. How you looking? Oh, not great. <laughs> Very bloody. I'm I'm wearing it well, but it hurts a lot. Um, the first one missed. It was an eleven. The second one hits. And that was 12 points of damage. Oh, close, but no cigar. Almost there. Skeletons barely held together. Um, there's a bright flash of light as he takes four more points of radiant damage. And, and explodes with radiant explodes. energy and is dead. <laughs> Thanks, Hor. We'll say Hor gave you that little hint there. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely mad at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. 
It's. I cool. mean, I knew I knew he was close. If he didn't go down, I was gonna smite him. But it's cool. Uh, all right, Kairos, Jarvis. All right, Jarvis is going to now that he's farther away shoot three magic, three missiles out of his wand. Roll that damage. Four, two, and four. And Ten. it's uh, each one is plus one. So sorry, five, three, and five. Thirteen. Yeah. My math is on tonight. You kill it as these missiles boom, 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 and hit these minotaurs. They crumble to the ground, clinking together in piles of pretty nicely white bones. It's almost like they were bleached or something. I don't know. Uh, cool. That one's done. Bye, and minotaurs. You won't be missed. And, uh, yeah, the zombies and skeletons all around this are still not paying attention. It's really odd how that is happening. Um, and, uh, yeah, you have the chapel in front of you. And uh, it's very messed. It's as decrepit as the as the um, other buildings in this area. Nearly all the stained glass windows along the outside walls have been smashed, and um, the main doors hang open. There's no sign of any other creatures from this vantage point in or around the building. It cannot be seen. Um, yeah, what would you like to do? Uh, well, I'd like to take a nap, but that's probably not a great idea. We just woke up. Yeah, I mean, well, not like a nap, you know, where you just sit down. He has sleep apnea, leave him the, alone. Enjoy the day. Can you just heal yourself? In the middle of all of these skeletons? I said it's not a good idea, it's what I want to do. Just, just heal yourself like a man. Come on, I know you got it, didn't you? I guess... He's not. Uh, he's not a human. Lulu says, "He's a meant, tiefling." Yeah, I meant more of a gender, not race. Oh. Who? I'm awashed in silver light as I get a max cure wounds off for eleven points of healing damage. Nice. Of as healing um, damage, as, as I'm LNA. saying this to him, I'm going to like walk up and slap him on one of his fresh wounds and also cure wounds him. And you feel like the, the energy of Torm wash over you quickly and you get the feeling like someone was paying attention this time, didn't want to make the same mistake <laughs> again, was just like hovering their hand over the button. Uh, the, the button unleashing radiant healing energy through the pipes and, uh, to the clerics that are all connected another, to these pipes. You get another seven points. Awesome. Right as you're going to do, I'm like, whoa, whoa, watch out, he almost severed that arm. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different feeling than uh, the feeling that Horror gave you. Feels a lot nicer. <laughs> you, I mean, when Horror heals you, it feels like he's kind of ripping a part of your soul away, too. It's It's a balanced sort of deal. It feels nice. good, but it feels bad. Sure. Want to eat a bean? It's like throwing up. Yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> you got beans? I got a bag of beans. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, no, no. Don't eat those. Those aren't eating beans. Oh. What do you mean? I mean, surely all beans are eating beans in one way or another, right? No, no. I've seen this guy eat a lot of beans. Those are Weren't those magical beans? Yes, but it might make him feel better. We don't know what they do exactly. I mean, she she did tell you. Delicious. She did tell you they're magical beans. She did tell you there's yeah. some crazy effects that could happen. She's not we, sure what. She didn't say whether to, how to trigger those effects though. Have and to figure also that out. true. Identify so, might help you with that. Yeah. Well, haven't you identified it yet? No. It, that costs you, money. 
That costs money. Oh, you! What kind of wizard are you? Can't <laughs> you identify things? You don't have a pearl, or what's it? it's a pearl, right? That's necessary, or something. I have pearl. to. Buy, I think I have to buy. Yeah, I think I have to go buy something to do it. Yeah, don't it's I? A pearl. I think. Yeah, it's it's definitely a pearl. It's a one time purchase pearl. Yeah, it doesn't go away. It's not it consumed. Get consumed. Yeah. Okay, so we need to be on the lookout for a pearl, is what you're telling me. To be <laughs> yeah. a in hell, semi passable yes. wizard in yes. hell. Yes, I forgot to get that before I came up here. My Torm, help me. I wonder if any <laughs> of these. I wonder if any of these zombies would have rings on that they were buried with or something. <laughs> yeah, I went to go use that. I was going to use that earlier, and then to because uh, he gave me. Uh, mm -hmm. Rollercoast gave me something to identify, and I went to go look to identify it, like before the rest. And I was like, "Oh, yeah, I you're can't. also holding the stuff, the bracers that we found. Yeah. You can't do shit for us. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Give me those well, bracers." I, I'm <laughs> hearing we need to do some great. I just robbing. need a pearl. Uh, that is all I, I need. Well. That's all I need. Okay, should we do some grave robbing today too? <clears throat> we Let's might we be able find to a find a pearl in a grave. Do you, want to, do you want to start picking your way through the grave? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of fucked up, you guys. And I know that's weird coming from me. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, oof, that's a lot of digging. Yeah, who knows how long it'll take you. I'll roll for it. It could take a long time. <laughs> I mean, it's weren't a, there a bunch a, of, like... It's a lot of skeletons that are going to see us. I'm like, just gonna... Weren't there a bunch of things down below? Like, weren't there a bunch of dead bodies in, like, tombs? Yes. Yeah, and Feria also told you there's an underground to the chapel as well, an ossuary. Oss ossuary? Oh, yeah, maybe we could go down there and find something. Yeah, I was going to say, while you were digging, I was just going to poke my head in the chapel and see if see, see what it looks yeah. like inside anyway, there. Anyway, let's go find Mr. We'll, we'll uh, keep our eyes yeah. Thank you, thank you. All right, so you approach the chapel, and... Uh... You see carved pillars, eight carved pillars resembling heroes of Elturel's past decorate uh, the patio, the white marble of the patio leading into the main chapel. The dark mahogany doors are ajar and the remains of the patio's windows have spread shattered stained glass everywhere. Have these hero statue pillars started to turn perverted into evil things? Or they, do they still look like heroes? They still look like heroes, uh, as far as you can tell. Um, yeah, I mean, anyone who wants to make a history check can. No, I'm real dumb. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at that. I wouldn't uh, do that. <laughs> I actually am. Wow. You're real dumb, too. I rolled a four, and my modifier is a seven, but I still rolled a four. <laughs> So, so I rolled an 11. Yeah, yeah that's enough. <laughs> Got to be optimistic when you deliver the number. <laughs> With a four, I wasn't as optimistic. You you think you recognize one of the heroes as Agnathar. But you don't recognize... Do I know anything about Agnathar? Um, not with that role. Cool. <laughs> You're just I, like, is that Agnathar? Yeah. Um, if you want to study further, you can make a, a religion or arcana check. If you want to spend more time with it or no. Yeah. Okay. Well, he's studying pillars. I'm going to look around the chapel uh, for gems and jewels and maybe a pearl. You're going to go in? Yeah, I thought we already were in. No, you're on the outside. These are on the oh, outside. Yeah, I'm looking in. Gotcha. So uh, twenty. Twenty. Nice. Yeah. I'm on. I'm rolling these natural twenties today. I'm liking it. Are you going Max in by yourself? All the die. Kairos. Um. Yeah. So I'm. I, I'll I follow going. Kairos then. <clears throat> okay. I'll walk in first. That's As... a natural twenty for a twenty-seven total. Yeah, that's pretty good there. Right before I walk in, I want to do something, but go ahead and with this history roll. As you're looking at it, you see some tiny runes etched in various interesting points of the carved pillars in the clothing, um, and it reminds you of the bridge 
out back, you think this could be empowered with energy, and you're like, hey! And all of a sudden, the pillars, these black, inky darkness leeches out of the pillars along with some spectral floating figures, horrifying vis visages of, of death and roll initiative. Dope. I almost said I almost said visages, and uh, that's wrong. That would be wrong pronunciation. Damn. So these I pillars rolled. are on the outside of the building. Yes, on the By front the... entrance. Gotcha. Okay. Got it. Got it. Twenty-five to twenty. Twenty-one. Uh, twenty to fifteen. Sixteen. Fifteen to ten. Thirteen. Twelve. Twelve. Got everyone, I think, there. Cool. So what you think, let me just tell you what you think uh, here about these carved pillars. You think they can be empowered with radiant energy if the name of a hero it represents is spoken aloud as an action. Was that when I said out loud? Are you saying that activated after I out loud said, hey, that's... Uh, you didn't say it out loud. You just said... Oh, it was in my head. Yeah. Um, you think the runes, that's how they're activated. If you say the correct name, it correlates to the pillar. Something could could happen. Cool. Um, you go, uh, Actually, you don't go first. The shadow number three goes first. Oh, no. You don't like shadows? I mean, I don't know what they are. And my I? face is all <laughs> up in it. Oh, yeah. And it's going to make a, a touch. It's going to reach out and touch you, Jarvis, or at least try to. Reach out and touch me. A 10? I don't think that's going to hit. Okay, unfortunate. Even without my mage armor. That's its turn. It's your turn. Yay! I, learning, kn knowing this and understanding from the runes, I'm actually going to, um, out loud, say it's say Agathar's name. Agnathar, I choose you. And I'm going to throw a pokeball out. <laughs> <laughs> As you say the name, use your action to say the name. This pillar lights up from the bottom and starts. It doesn't make the sound I'm about to make, but I like making this sound, so I'm going to, this is just for me, and shoots out radiant energy and hits the, the one that just tried to reach out and touch you, and it's going to do some damage. That's a bad roll. I like these runes. And it hits the shadow, and it reels back from you uh, in what you think would be pain for a shadow. Mm -hmm. uh, bonus action? Jarvis? Uh, I'm just going to use my bonus action to tell my party to say its name and see if it works again. Okay. Um, it's it doesn't turn off. It's still like glowing it's still, oh got it it's um, still like activated yeah okay all right i'll still tell my party what i did sure 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 <laughs> i mean they saw it for the most part i think yeah. i just recheck the language on this effect yep okay good all right, one of the other shadows, shadow number one, is going to go after you, Kairos. It's going to reach out and touch you for a 22 to hit. Yes. And yes, yes. Uh, when it touches you, 
I feel weaker, like you're at the even worse than when you have the most strenuous adventuring day. Yeah. And you take nine necrotic damage. Why why did you say yeah that way? <laughs> Do you think I know things? Okay. Um, Maybe. Roll Maybe a one roll a one D four. Yeah, that's the that's the thing. That's the thing I ah oh, balls. Got a four. four. Uh reduce your strength by four. Yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. That drops your I'm AC. Sorry. No, it doesn't drop his AC. Not my AC, but oh, no, many, not but a great many other things. Yeah. That I rely on strength for. And a specter, a much more obvious, slightly glowing specter is going to come after you, Rollercoast. A 21 to hit. Yep. It's going to do 11 necrotic damage as it too reaches towards you and... Uh, drains some life from you. Make a constitution saving throw. Eighteen. That's good enough. You just take the eleven necrotic damage. Cool. Relicos, it's your turn. How many attacks of opportunity am I going to take trying to get twenty or thirty feet away? Two. Oh, golly. Am I right? How close am I to Kairos? Uh, you guys are pretty spread out along the front, but um, these pillars are also spread out, so each one of the pillars had one of these creatures come out of it, and one of them ran- beelined to you, and it was not the one that came out of the pillar closest to you, so therefore there's two. Um, you're about 10 feet away from Kairos. Okay, I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to take both attacks. Uh, Okay. Or wait, is that... Yeah, that's an action that I'm going to do, so yeah. Take both attacks. Uh, One of them is an 11, and one of them is a 17. One hits the second, obviously. Okay. Uh, This one is going to be... That was the shadow. You take uh, four necrotic damage and roll a d4 for me. No save on that? No. Uh, Three? Go ahead and reduce your strength by three. How do I... Other modifiers? You can just click the number, I think, and it'll allow you to... If you're using D&D Beyond. Okay. You're going to head back your full movement? Uh, I'm going to head... I'm going to have to use my feline agility to get farther than 20 feet. So I'm going to use like 40 or 50 feet. Okay. You want to be 40 or 50 feet away? Yeah, as long as I'm not in skeletons or zombies. Uh, Yeah, you can do that. We'll okay. say for you to uh, carefully keep your distance, if that's something you want to do, uh, that'll take 10 feet of your movement. So Okay, that's fine. So I still... I had a total of 60. So you're 50 feet away. So 40 feet if you take away the 10 feet of movement. Oh, so I right. use 10 to get yeah. to Kairos. Okay. All right. Um, and... and on, sorry, on my way to Kairos, I'm going to s- give him a little touch and give him protection from good and evil. Cool. And then dip back. And that will be the end of my turn. Cool. All right. Shadow number four, Jerry. 19 to hit. Yep. 11. Check that. 13 necrotic damage. Uh, Go ahead and roll a d4 for me. Fuck. Three. Go ahead and reduce your strength score by three. You can do that on D&D Beyond, I think, by clicking the number. And it will do all the math for you, I think. 
I had to go into like the character sheet. Really? Part. Uh, you yeah. can click on the number, and then on the right hand side it says other modifier. You just uh, do negative do three. There. Yep. I didn't. I didn't. Did you figure that. it out, Dave? Yes. Cool. All right, Spectre number three is uh, going to go after is going to go after the wizard. Not the wizard, please, not the wizard. Oh yeah, fifteen to hit. That just hits. Woo! I was like, that's a miss. Um, I'm gonna cast shield. Okay, nice. Plus my AC up. Nice, that'll do. Reaching out, gets close. Woof. Shield of arcane energy blocks the specter. It's a pretty color coming off these specters. The the their faces are horrifying, but colors a nice light, bright blue. Trying to comfort you guys in some way with colors. Thanks. It's a, not comforting. It's it's the best I got right now. I'm the only one that didn't take the minus, didn't on the strength, huh? Fuck. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. You're the one that doesn't need it. Yeah. I don't need it either. That's true. Uh Shadow. Number. Well, let me make mark this. Okay, got it. Uh, Shadow number two is going to head on over to Lulu. Not the not the elephant. It's going to miss with a 11. Natural armor is very high on this holophant. Kairos. Oh, Horus Boris, this space is heavy. <laughs> Swing at the thing. And then I remember what Jarvis said, and I shout out a name, uh, Big Bertha. <laughs> but I doubt that's one of the names, uh, one of the heroes. Nope. <clears throat> not one of the names Kyros Kyr don't know uh, <laughs> he's just gonna try to hit the, the, the thing that hit him and made it me feel so shitty uh, 13 on the first yes oh, cool and it's a uh, better 21 on the second so damage are they fiends of undead or just yes hmm Oh god, that went down too. Um, eight points of damage. Okay. And twelve points of damage. Yep, twelve points of damage. So twenty total. Twenty total. That shadow. And some of that is radiant, if it matters. That shadow's dead. It disappears. Does not matter. Well, that's emboldening. Um. Yeah, no, that'll, that'll be it. I'm done. Jerry. I will, I'll move to, uh, if there isn't another one right next to me, um, I'll move to the next one. Okay. Jerry feels his maul getting really heavy, or like getting heavier, um, and he just starts to freak out. He, <laughs> he runs, he's just like, uh, uh, and he, he just saw that Kairos went over to one of the pillars, so he goes over to one of the pillars and tries to remember a name or tries to tries to uh, say one of the names what name does he say he says uh, Eric <laughs> Eric <Like> Trump <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I don't uh... <laughs> You feel the skies rumble with anger. <laughs> <laughs> and it's unnatural. It's not like the earthquakes you felt. It's like the whole reality is shaking. Uh, anything, that, so that's your action. What, any bonus action? You're raged, was I assume? Um, 
You have four rages, right? Okay. Do I have four now? Oh, yeah, I have four now. Um, so that was another thing I should have said at the beginning. I get, I get an additional rage. Um, yeah, I'll rage. Okay. Nice. That is your turn. Spectre number four. One of the pillars leaves. Um, goes around the corner. Uh, doesn't take any opportunity attacks. Uh, unless you guys got some new, new special mo maneuver. Uh it doesn't go by close enough to get snagged. Which specter was right in front of me? Um, that would be sh uh, Shadow Three. Okay. Cool. Um. Okay. That guy's done. Specter. Specter Three. Specter Three. Vector 3 is going to head on over to Jerry. Natural 1. How did Spectre 3 get to go before I went again? Spectre 3 hasn't gone. I thought Spectre 3 is the one that you said attacks me, not your shield. Was it Spectre 3? Uh, the one right in front of me is the one that... There's another Spectre that needs to go, so... Regardless, I misspoke. Uh, Got it. Okay. On my page, my numbers must be... It's it's a mess, but there's another specter that needs to go. So, cool. Um, Sorry, it's confused. Yeah, rolls a natural one, doesn't hit Jerry. I can see why that would be confusing, but uh, my sheet is confusing. So, all right, Lulu finally gets to go. Let's see, she's gonna use her trumpet. Oh shit! Trumpet time. She's going to try to position herself to get four of them, and they're all going to make constitution saving throws as her trumpet of sparkles rains down. One hits. How many are there? Two. There are, uh, now there are six within range, and she's getting okay. four of them. One of them's dead. Uh, one of them went around the corner. Uh, two of them she got... Nope, wrong dice, Jake. Twenty-one. All right. Shadow number two goes down. Shadow number four goes down. Uh, shadow number three goes down. Where did I put that? Louis put me to shame. She's done this before, hasn't she? I know, yeah. And one of the specters gets rocked, but is still up. Yeah, but when she did it before, she caught most of us in her sparkles, too. <laughs> She was learning. She was learning. Oh, never mind. One of the specters goes down big time. Nice. So what's left? There are two specters left. Jarvis, nothing Did in front of you. Jarvis looks at the other heroes. Does he thinking a little bit harder? Does he recognize any of the heroes? You want to use your action to uh, do. make an Arcana check or I a do. history check? Arcana, yeah. Okay. A lot. Uh, Twenty-four. All right, you recognize Zokal of Torm, and what was it? Twenty what? Twenty-four. Okay. That's one. Bertra, Zomes, Yavina, Druin, Kassar, and Zivik, Lurin. That was a lot of names. Zokol, Betra, and... 
Zokal of Torm, Bertra Zomes, Yavina Druin, Kassar. One of them was named Bertra, and I said Bertha. That's incredible. <laughs> you said Big Bertha, I think. I did say Big Bertha, but I'm still just blown away that I legitimately got real close to one. <laughs> yeah, you did. All right, Zokal of Torm, Betra Zomes, Yavina Drum, and what was the last one? Yavina Cass- Druin. With a Druin. D, Kassar, and Zivik Luren. All right, I'm going to use my now, bonus action. For the spelling B portion, spell. <laughs> <laughs> for the spelling uh, B portion of the, of the uh, uh, <laughs> game. Yeah. Uh, you want to use what now? I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, tell my party as many of these names as I can. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't use them on my action. Sure. Yeah. No, um, well, we'll see how that goes. So uh, I'm I'm saying the names, but obviously it's not doing anything. And I'm telling my party, you just need to say each of you needs to say a name. Okay. Deal. And uh, yeah. Cool. Specter number two. Kairos. <clears throat> let's see it's a 10 to hit won't do it no, that won't do it Relicos. So say attacks against Kairos have disadvantage if they're evil if they're a fiend um, yeah. but it didn't matter I'm going to attack twice at the one of the one specters in, yeah one in front of Kairos okay with a sharpshooter okay it's an 8 to hit all right. And a 12 to hit. Do either of those hit? A 12 hits. Oh, beautiful. Seven, 17 damage. That's enough. One specter that you can see left. That's uh, end of my turn. Kairos, you can make Um, your movement to the other specter if you like. Use your movement if you like. Just going to roll something for myself real quick. I did not catch a single name that you said. (laughs) I rolled a nat one on my personal intelligence check, and I have a (laughs) negative one modifier, so I got a zero on, (laughs) on catching those names. Not any of them? (laughs) <laughs> Not any of them. Literal zero. <laughs> Literal zero. So I'm gonna run to. I'm gonna run to the other specter and I'm gonna. I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> so, so you're not upset that you almost said his name. You have no idea what its actual name was. Uh, uh, as I'm running to the other specter, I'm gonna specter. I'm gonna say, uh, I already said Bertha. <laughs> uh, that's an eleven on the first hit. I bet Jarvis is so freaking annoyed. Jarvis is so annoyed right now. <laughs> Um, and then 11 on the second hit. Uh, 12 is the AC. Wow, that would have been real cool if uh, my strength hadn't been sapped, because I would have hit it with both of those attacks, and so I missed. Bummer, bro. You know, if you said one of those names... Mm, Womp, womp. I did, as I (laughs) shouted to you as I ran towards the specter. (laughs) Pretty sure I said it. But yeah, I'm done. (laughs) Jerry. (laughs) Jerry just goes... I got you, Kairos, and he runs over to a pillar. Or he's, he's are well, he's already by a pillar, I think. And yeah. Just, but you want to you, you want to get him close to the pillar with the specter near it. Yeah. So uh, is I mean, one just tried to sh- tried to get me right and missed. Uh, I think that one's dead. One, two. Got trumpeted. Lulu killed that one. Yeah, Lulu got that one. I guess... um, Run up to the one next to Kairos? Sure. Or you can just, yeah, yell the name because it will activate the Oh, okay. I thought I had to be near it. So I say Zivik Luren. That'll be your action. When you do, the... the, uh, We won't try to figure out if Jerry caught the name. We'll just say he did. 
uh, the, the pillar lights up in a similar fashion. And that's the damage. <laughs> oh, man. My damage rolls for these pillars has been real bad. Uh, but it's vulnerable, so that's nice. It's got that. It's something. Take some damage, but is still looking good. As good as a specter can look. Um, still a healthy blue glow. Yep. Bonus action, you still have. Jerry, anything? So, can, I, can I say another name? No. That would require an action. All right. No other actions, then. Okay, Spectre number three. Kairos. Barring it. 16. No. Oh! <laughs> Swing and a miss. Or text me once more. Lulu. <laughs> Uh, Lulu's gonna try to use her tusks, thinking she should save some of her trumpeting. Come on, tusks. Yes. Nice. Four. I just realized nobody trumpeted when she trumpeted last. Drop oh, the yeah. ball, guys. Drop the ball. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all of our faults. It is collectively our fault. Jarvis, your turn. Jarvis. Oh, Jarvis. Jarvis is going to shout Zokal of Torm. I think you'd want to use the one he used. You would know that. Oh. Oh, because it does that out of the same... I thought you said the same one looks... Act okay, anyways, I know that. So I would use the same one and c c Civic Lurid. As your action, you do. Let's see if I roll shitty again. Nope, didn't roll shitty. Uh, that's a good one. This The blue glow dims significantly on this one. It's still a live bonus action? Um, bonus action is going to be to do nothing. The blue glow did significantly. It's still alive, though. No <laughs> bonus action from Jarvis. Moving on to Rollercoast, the cat from... Where are you? I don't even know where you're from. From Baldur's Gate. Oh, the cat from the Kittering district of Baldur's Gate. Go ahead. Two, two attacks, sharpshooter at the one that, that okay. Kairos is in front of. It's uh, 18. Yes. And 19. Yes. Thirty-six damage. I'm gonna make you do the math. Anyways, it only had five hit points. <laughs> so mean. Yeah, thirty-six damage. I'm. I'm. You should thank me. I'm preventing dementia in all of you. That's I'm ah, yeah. True. It's dead. It disappears. Poof. So Jarvis understands why using the same one worked, but Gary's really confused. It's a proximity thing. And uh I wasn't gonna try to make you guys figure out which one corresponded to which one. I didn't want to go through that. So I just said that Jerry hit the right name on the right column. So the so you could have activated so once it's activated you can recall that one to have it do something. Yeah, to have it. Got it. Again. Okay, that's where I got confused because I didn't realize that. Okay. Immediately after that one drops, uh, Cairo sprints around the corner to see if he can see the one that went around the corner. Can I see the one that went around the corner? <laughs> when you go around the corner, you see a little like hut. Um... Why didn't that come up? Hey, you jerk. Oh, there we go. Okay. Where'd my zoom go? Oh, there it is. I'm freaking out! Alright. There's a small little hut 
um, next to uh, on the other side of the path that bisects between the main chapel and the small little hut and you see a blue glow coming from it uh, but that's about it before it dissipates and goes away guys uh, I think that's our target not the chapel call it a hunch I got a hunch Oh, is Check anybody out. else really tired? I'm with chaos. Yeah, uh, yeah let's go. No time for naps, plus all the dead things. And uh, I continue pressing forward towards the hut that is no longer glowing. Okay. Uh, let me put. Give this... chase. Give chase. And and after that's done, um, I actually turned to Kairos and I said, "Betra, Betra, not Bertha." I didn't hear you. I said Bertha. <laughs> <clears throat> Big Bertha, I believe uh, her name was. Petra. <laughs> Does Kairos, is Kairos aware of how annoyed Jarvis is? Like No. Yeah. Well, his insight's okay. Very annoyed. No. <laughs> more I mean, so he probably just he doesn't, doesn't care. care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bertha. You, you little wizard. Get out of my face type of thing. So this simple building contains a bed, a desk, a dresser, a table, chairs. Much of the furniture has been destroyed with decorations and other items strewn haphazardly around the room, including holy symbols of Lathander, Torm, Helm, and Tear. There's a large tome uh, on a... Just like my apartment. (laughs) (laughs) There's a large tome on a side table, and it sits open... uh... And there's a human in there. In the tome? Uh, in the in the in the abode. Uh, and it's got red eyes, dark skin, uh, vibrant color garb, and uh, he says he says Are you with older? Oh shit, this is your house. I just kinda of barged in. Uh no we are looking for him but i've never met the guy you know him is that you are you older guys do we know what he looks like you know what older raven guard looks like <laughs> he's the flaming fist like head honcho you're fine oh, you know what okay he... this is not older raven guard. <laughs> um i'm gonna show you a picture of gideon and uh Man, that's rough. And he says, um, I let him go down into the crypts because he seemed intent on killing demons. There's still demons around? Dude, do you know where you are? I've seen them, but I let, he seemed intent on killing demons like we are. Uh, and are you here to kill demons with us? I mean, I guess so. It's a pastime of mine, his, his, yeah, all of ours. It's a pastime, so yeah. Make Mostly we're looking for Raven Guard, but we'll kill demons along the way. We've killed a bunch. Make a... Uh, persuasion check for me or charisma all of us no the, just uh, Kairos God, why do I do I take intimidation on characters but I always use persuasion <laughs> uh, no that's pretty garbagey that's a six he goes He said the same thing, that he was going to kill demons, but they still came out of the crypts. So that makes me think he's in league with demons and Baphomet. I mean, or he's dead. And there's just more demons coming out. I don't know. I think that's a pretty, pretty harsh judgment to jump to, logically speaking. You got a demon problem? You want us to go kill some demons in your, in your crypts? We'll I kill there, demons it. for Zeriel and smite them back whence they came. Whoa, you work for Zeriel? 
I am a priest. There's like no one in between you and Zeriel and your management chain? I mean, I mean, there's probably some, I don't know. I'm a priest for Zeriel. She select. How, how long have you been uh, running that gig? Like from, were you, were you a priest, you know, from before? And uh, I was a, I was a, I was a priest of, of, uh, reading my notes, reading my notes. Why can't I? Lathander. <laughs> I was a priest of Lathander in Elturel before the city was taken down. Angels appeared to me right before the city was taken down, and they were telling me that the celestial host, Lathander, Torm, all of them were lax in their in their participation in the blood war and that we should prevent we should fight the demons off along with the devils to prevent the chaos that would inevitably consume the entire world so how does Zeriel come into this yeah i thought she was a devil she's a devil and she prevents the demons from overrunning hell and the rest of the world the rest of existence. I mean that. But did it, it sounds justified? Did I it guess. she bring? Was but it yeah, like demons she, and devils are not the same thing. Well, yeah, right, yeah. but it was but it was her that like did the whole thing with the companion and brought Elturel down here into hell. I don't know why she brought Elturel down. Elturel. <laughs> <laughs> it stuck. It did. Uh, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. There must have been a deal with someone uh, of the city, but her main goal and the reason she split from uh, her celestial duties was because the celestial host wouldn't smite demons as much as she'd like. And so she's protecting the entire multiverse from being run overrun with demons whose only goal is chaos and destruction of existence. I mean, oh. rough sell, man. Hard, hard sell. What do not you not me. understand? There's oh, a, I, you can look over the side and you see a war of demons and devils. This is the front line. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, but no. Zeriel not, not does bad stuff to us. Yeah. Not and it's, My whole family's in hell now because of her. I bet it's justified. She's probably preventing demons from overrunning mm -hmm. the See? multiverse. Yep, Jerry there, just goes... That jump in logic you just did right there. That's, <laughs> that's what's giving me pause there. Jerry just goes, oh, okay. And he just walks away. And just like, is like, oh, all right. He's, he starts walking out of the chapel. Oh, Jerry, Jerry, your family guys, doesn't you don't have to deserve do anything to be about, here. Jerry, Jerry, guys, we don't have to do anything Jerry, now. get back here. Serial's all justified. <laughs> Here, no, it's See? not. <laughs> See, now, that, you found another one. That's the, that's the, that's the kind of thinking that it's, it's burned me before. I just. Do you know anything about uh, people like talking in your brain and trying to sell you things, trying to do <laughs> the? No, Gideon. I. I, I think I'm I assume I that's prevented by my work with Zeriel. Uh I've never heard of that as she's saying that you hear. Uh hi, I'd like to speak to Anne Murray, please. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh are you Anne Murray? No. Jerry, do you speak out loud when you're having these arguments with yourself? <laughs> Someone's someone's talking to me in my brain. I can't believe you guys can't hear this. Is is uh Anne Murray around? Are you her husband? Hey or guys, is there an Anne partner? Murray? Or is one of these dead minotaurs <laughs> Anne Murray? <laughs> Maybe Marty was her husband. Maybe I have the wrong is number. Is Marty her husband? Oh, uh, she could be one of these corpses around, just getting like a cross I don't, signal. I don't know who her husband is. I thought you I this is the number I have. Uh, I've never been married. Oh. Oh, well, I'm sorry for bothering you. Um, have a good day. Then uh, Gideon 
continues about the blood war and then uh, he, Jerry, uh, Jerry, Jerry runs up to one of the pillars and he goes, and Murray. <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> while you're saying that. Jarvis is just shaking his head. While you're saying, well, this is kind of around the corner. You guys are kind of separated now. Uh, but um, while you're saying that, uh, you hear, Hi, I'd like to speak to Anne Murray, please. <laughs> again? <laughs> yeah, no, you heard not, again. You have, you have the wrong brain. Oh, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. It's I'm new here, if I'm being honest. Uh, I don't know how that a different happened. job. Hey, that's rude. Like, I'm trying <laughs> to make a career of this, okay? I apologize for, for contacting you, you twice. now while you're young and you have options. I'm... 1373 years <laughs> old okay uh i'm Damn. no spring chicken but like it's not there's no age limit to changing your career can i get a picture of you i mean that's just dirty i just want to see what a 1300 year old person looks like i'm a i'm a succubus what kind of i'm not a person <laughs> oh sorry but I'm going to go because, you know, I apologize. As I said, this whole thing is new to me and they didn't do a very good orientation, in my opinion. Not like uh, any other orientations I've had, like um, uh, whipping. Uh, my whipping orientation when I was younger was very good, as long as my BDSM orientation uh I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm sorry for wasting your time again. What is your name, by the way, so I can make sure I don't call you again on this? Jerry. Point? Jerry. Uh, is that with two R's? Yes. Okay. Is that with an E? Yes. Okay. And there's a Y? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm embarrassed to ask you, and so I'm not. I'm just going to assume it's with a G. Okay, all right. Uh, G E R Y. Okay, uh, and then you don't hear anything else, and uh, that's where we're going to leave it for tonight. I've oh, got man. Gary disease with a headache or something. I don't know what's going on. Guys. Oh man, tonight's been the worst. I can't. Coronavirus spreading, spreading headaches. This headache has been piercing the entire night. It's a good That's thing you don't nice. have the uh, your name's not on the uh, on the uh, caller list in hell. Oh, that would man. be great. But um, cool, yeah. Anything you guys want to plug? No. Just okay. don't travel right now. Agreed. Just stay at home. Agreed. Wash hide, your hands. hide in your closet with as much hand sanitizer as you can. Bathe only in hand sanitizer and cleanse your insides with hand sanitizer as well, if need be. I do also want to point out that both Jerry and I got sick in Arizona. Maybe Arizona is just the devil. Yeah, it's possible. I'd like to plug my Star Wars uh, game I'm in on Saturdays early in the morning here on the East West Coast. It's at 9 a.m. And uh, it's on twitch.tv slash roll for change last week, trying to raise money for your ACLU. Uh, we'll see what we're raising money for this time, but stop by if you're into Star Wars. I play a character named Turk Bango. He's a chiss gunslinger. And uh, yeah. What's and a chiss? A chiss is a blue humanoid alien uh with red eyes, pupilless eyes and black hair. Awesome. They're from the outer uh beyond the outer rim. Uh stay tuned for the next 4 hours I'll be going into depth of the lore of Star Wars <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> uh but we'll leave it at that. Everyone be excellent to yourself and to others and stay not sick stay healthy we'll leave it there we'll see you later bye